With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question it is given write all monochlorination product of the following. So monochlorination product we need to write down. The first compound is cyclopentane. So this is cyclopentane, right? If you want to write down the monochlorination product like treating it with HMU, then how we will write? This is cyclopentane. Now if you are treating it with monochlorination, then you can say that at this position, at this position chlorine can be attached, right? This is the first product which can be present. Then secondly, what you can get? You can have another product like this that at this position if chlorine is attained then it is the same product. Then since you are talking about monochlorinated product let's say if chlorine is attached at this position again it will be the same type of product. So at any position if you are attaching chlorine at any top at any point then it will be the same type of product because all are 2 degree carbon. All carbons which are present here are 2 degree carbon and therefore they all are having 2 degree hydrogen atom. So if you replace it they will all uh, give you identical product. So the monochlorination of cyclopentane gives you only this type of product. This is the only one product which is possible. Right. Now let's see the next one. In the next one it is given this was the first. Now in the second one 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopentane. So let's draw first of all cyclopentane. This is cyclopentane. Now 1, 2 dimethyl means this is one number which is methyl group and two number is this. So 1, 2 dimethyl. Now what is said if you draw its monochlorination product that is chlorine with HMU then what will happen? This CH2Cl can be there right and you will have CH3 here. Another product is that if hydrogen, if this hydrogen is replaced, this is the primary hydrogen. Now if this tertiary hydrogen is replaced, then you can get another product. So what will be that product if the tertiary hydrogen is replaced, then the product will be like this. Chlorine, here you have CH3 and here you have CH3. Then what you can get, if you replace an, either this tertiary or this primary, it will be the same product like this. It will be the same product like this. But now what you can do, you can replace this primary hydrogen, uh, this secondary hydrogen. So now what you will get, you will have CH3 at both the ends and then you will have one chlorine from this side, right? Now next part what you can do, if you replace, if you replace this position hydrogen, then it will give you the same product which I have drawn now. Because again you will have uh, methyl and methyl attached at the adjacent positions. But what, what if you replace this hydrogen? If this hydrogen is replaced then definitely you will get a different product because the positions of methyl will differ from other cases. So if you do the Cl here and if CH3 is here and CH3 is here then this is a different product not, uh, not matching with any of the given. So this is the main point. Now in total how many products you are getting? You are getting four products. So here you are getting four products and here we have got one product, right? So these are the total number of possible products in the given two uh, compounds and uh, with the monochlorination, right? I hope you have understood. Thank you very much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.